In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a sticky header for your card site. Before we dive in, I want to note that this feature is available for pro users only, so make sure you have the necessary subscription. To get started, the first thing we need to do is create a header marker. You'll want to head over to the interface where you'll see a plus icon located on the top right bar. Go ahead and click on that to add a new element. Once you've opened up the menu, you'll find Control at the bottom of the list. Selecting this will add a line to your page, which we'll be using to designate our header area. Now that you've added that line, the next step is to change its type to a header marker. The reason for doing this is so that any content you place above this line will be recognized as part of the header. This is critical for creating a sticky header because it helps the system understand where the header starts. So don't forget to drag it all the way up to the top of your page. With the header marker in place, we can now add our container. We'll do this by once again clicking on the plus icon and this time from the menu, select container found towards the bottom. This element will serve as your header block where you'll be placing all your desired header contents. After you've created the container, drag it right above the header marker line you just positioned. This action will place your container within the header section and ensure it moves as part of the sticky header. Now, to further illustrate this, let's add a text box inside the container, just as an example. I'm going to name it header contents, which represents any information or components you want to display in your header. Once you've done that, click on the container itself. It's important to emphasize that you should be interacting with the container and not the text box or header marker. Once you've selected the container, you'll notice a panel pop up on the left side. On this panel, there's a gear icon located at the top left. Click on this and then choose Style. This is where we'll implement the magical part. A text box will appear in this section and you'll need to input a specific code that I'm displaying on a separate notepad. This code is what will enable your container to act as a sticky header. Just copy that code exactly as it appears into the text box. With the code entered, go ahead and click Done to save all your changes. And that's it. You now have a sticky header for your card site, creating a sleek and dynamic navigation area for your visitors. Experiment with adding other elements to your header container to get it just how you want. Thanks for watching and happy designing.